Hey guys, today we're checking out Mission Impossible 2 from 2000. Let's get to it. Alright, we're watching Mission Impossible 2. I loved Mission Impossible 1. If you missed that, check it out. I really loved it, even though I know lots of fans of the original show didn't like it because of what they did to Jim Phelps. And I agree, I did not like that character assassination, but I still liked the movie a lot. I thought it was really fun. Alright. We're in Sydney, Australia. I will be honest, I have not heard great things about this movie, but I tend to like most action movies that I watch, so I think I'm gonna like it anyway. Dimitri, every search for a hero must begin with something that every hero requires, a villain. A villain? We have like a mad scientist here. In a search for our hero, Bellerophon, we created the monster Chimera. Is this, we're, we're getting a villain right out of the gate? You, you guys know I love a good villain. Come to Sydney and accompany me to Atlanta. I must arrive at my destination within 20 hours of departure. Now I'm on the lookout though. In number one, they did fool me a lot with the disguises. So I don't think anyone is who they say they are. That could be Tom Cruise right there. He's gonna... I'm gonna pay closer attention to the stunts in this one too. Now that I know that Tom Cruise does, really does most of his, all of his stunts. Oh, You keep that staring that at that watch as if your life depended on it, Doctor. I suppose I'm a bit anxious. You'll soon be with old friends. I'm with an old friend now, Dmitri. That's not his nerve. You don't know, Gratsky thought the world of you. Not in time to save him. After you've been infected with Chimera for 20 hours, nothing can save you. Got it. Not even Bellerophon. Is he on a mission right now? I mean, he has a different name, Dimitri. As a precaution, I've released the oxygen mask. Come on, sit back, relax. No matter how calm the pilot is, if they drop the oxygen masks, I would freak out. Any of you guys ever been in a plane that had the masks come down? That's terrifying. Yikes. <gasps> I don't trust this captain. He's doing something shady. Are they all passing out? Oh no. Where about Tom Cruise? They've all been gassed or something in the masks. It wasn't oxygen. It seems we have a problem, Dimitri. You keep calling me Dimitri. <gasps> you are not Dimitri. No. <laughs> no. Heck to the no. Hold on to this. Is this his team? <gasps> okay. That just blew my mind. Okay. What? He had a voice thing. <gasps> I saw it coming that it might be Tom Cruise under a mask, but not Tom Cruise as the mask. Oh my god. I like this movie already. I don't know about you guys. Oh my god, yikes. <gasps> they crashed. Oh crap. Whoa. Good opening. Yes, okay, a John Woo film. I've heard of John Woo. It's an action director, yes? What other John Woo movies should I see? Just let me know. Okay, so did he really do this this free climbing? I know he loves to do his own stunts. This reminded me of when I watched Cliffhanger. Check it out if you missed it. And when are we gonna get the theme song? That is my favorite part of Mission Impossible is the iconic theme song. Give me that theme. Music by Hans Zimmer. Based on the TV series. Huge fan, huge fan. <gasps> <gasps> is that not a missile or is it gonna tell him his mission? Oh yeah! Go! Gadget missile. Bow, 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 bow. Your mission involves recovery of a stolen item designated Chimera. You may select any two team members, but it is essential that the third team member be Naya Nordorf Hall. Sexy lady. This message will self destruct in five seconds. <laughs> Now they are messing with the theme a little here. Just going full electric guitar on it. Let's do it. Ooh, I'm excited. Step one. Recruit sexy lady. We're going to Spain. All right, there she is. It's gotta be her. She's lovely. Well, well, well. Does he know her? I mean, he knows her from the mission brief. But you never know. Can you trust her? This was a James Bond movie. No, you can't trust her. And actually, you couldn't trust the sexy lady in number one either, so she's really gonna have to earn my trust. What is this? She's got gadgets. I, I like her. I have one. I like, I like her. Oh, a secret thingy. I see you found it. What are you doing here? Think you're the only one who can pick a lock? Hmm. Not just a pretty face after all. He does have a pretty face though. They both do. Would like to see them kiss. I've already decided that. <laughs> do you mind if I'm on top? Hey-oh! Either way it works for me. 
Is that champagne? Get out! Every movie. What is she thieving here? You'll never find it there. Find what? His ex's bulgari necklace that goes up for auction on Tuesday. We're looking for a necklace! And are you gonna tell me where it is? He might. Far left. Ooh, jewels, jewels. I love me some jewels to steal. Oh, now that's classy. I wouldn't do that. What? Uh-oh. How does he know? He's so smart. It is Mr. Keys, our security engineer. Apologize. Now, Miss Hall, my associate has your necklace in a very safe place. Mm -hmm. but obviously, we do feel the alarm should have gone off a little sooner. Oh, he's making it off like they were just testing it. Miss Hall, haven't you forgotten something? Your jewels. What are you trying to do, senorita? Rob me? If you weren't gonna let me get away with it, why did you watch me go through it? Oh, I see how good you were. I was hoping we might work together. Recruit. Whatever it is you're talking about, you couldn't possibly win me off tonight's performance. I triggered the alarm. <gasps> what is she? So she is good. I don't do laundry, cook, or put up with cheeky bastards who set me up on their territory so they can poach on mine. He is very cheeky. I like her. We're gonna have to win her over. How you gonna do it, Ethan? Slowing down. Is he right on her tail? Where did you get this number? I don't even have it. Ethan can get anything. So cheeky. She doesn't put up with cheeky bastards. Come over and listen to me, will you? Just listen. Listen to what? I need your help. We got to steal something, I hope. I really hope we're, we're heisting something. Well, if you want me, you gotta catch me. Oh, boy. Oh. She's crazy. Driving in heels, too. You're having fun? Cliff, there's not even any guardrails. Dudes. This car's getting all crunched. Does Tom Cruise do his own stunt driving? When I asked that in John Wick, everybody said they would never let that happen on a set. You can't do your own stunt driving. But I don't know if that's true. Is she going over? Guys. Is someone gonna go off the side of that mountain? They're locked in a sexy spin. Oh, they're going right to the edge. Come on, jump out, jump out, jump out. Was it worth it, lady? Should have just said yes. Ethan Hunt gets what he wants. What's your name? Ethan Hunt. What is it you want to talk to me about? A lot more than I thought. Oh. Are they both just playing each other or are they... I mean, I, I feel the chemistry there. I, th I think they like each other. They're both daredevils, clearly. Adrenaline junkies. Or she left and stole something. Oh, she's still there. Okay. Still thinking about the beginning where the, the Tom Cruise mask came off. So, is the thing these blokes pinched? I don't know that they pinched it. I don't even know that they're blokes. I think he's falling in love with her, though. I feel like she's probably gonna die. This isn't the kind of thing where he gets to have a love. Then there's like seven movies or something. Is that Anthony Hopkins? Check out Silence of the Lambs if you missed it. I was terrified, but I loved it. Sorry I barged in on your vacation. I'm well, sorry I didn't let you know where I was. Don't be, it wouldn't be vacation if you did. Well, Second. you're sorry, and I'm sorry. Why did you phrase it like that? Yeah, isn't that what the guy on the plane said? Well, Dimitri, once again, I need your help. We have um, this little problem. A oh, little problem. I can entrust this to no one but you. As we say, I'm sorry that you are sorry. Do you have any idea what the hell he's talking about? I guess a good idea to pick him up in a hurry and a bad idea to fly him on a commercial carrier. He's already dead, right? We had Nakovich on a flight from Sydney that crashed in the Rockies. Crash on purpose. If he didn't want to go anywhere without me, how did you get him on that flight? Oh, you were there. Oh, they already know this. They know about the disguise. When I couldn't find you, I had to replace you. Sean Ambrose was the obvious choice. Oh, they put him there. I doubled you, what, two, three times? What did you think of him? I don't think he was good likes him. Airline records? As far as the media and all governmental agencies are concerned, Captain McIntosh died on the flight. No, he did not. In any case, you must recover this, uh, or have a chimera and um, bring it to us. In order to do that, to figure out how he plans to make money with it. Mm -hmm. That is where Miss Hall comes in. I thought she was going to steal something. Miss Hall and Ambrose had a relationship which he took very seriously. Oh. She walked away and he's been wanting her back ever since. Not about the stealing. I got it. Either way, we are asking her to resume a prior relationship, not do anything she hasn't already done. She's got no training for this kind of thing. He does like her. He's protecting her. I don't think I can get her to do it. You mean it'll be difficult? Very. Well, this is not mission difficult, Mr. Hunt. It's mission impossible. He's smug. Oh, by the way, you might want to take a look at these if you have any further qualms about getting her to do the job. What's this? It's going to be something convincing to get him to do it. He likes her. How many people are capable of something like that? Sean Ambrose. 
for one. Yeah, what's she gonna think of this plan? She's gonna think he slept with her just to get her to do it. Thinking that somewhere in the course of business this got personal as well as physical. Would it make you feel any better if I didn't want you to do this? Yeah, much. Then feel better! He's upset about it! I think she gets it. You know, Sean will never be anything but suspicious. Of what wouldn't make him suspicious? Destitute you in serious trouble. Well, serious trouble, Naya? It's something that I can always arrange. I'll bet. This transponder chip is completely untraceable. Ooh, cool. It transmits your location to a satellite, which can be read by only this computer. Well, that's handy. Hope nothing happens to that computer. Since your arrest, I've been sending news bulletins to every law enforcement agency in the world. I know Sean Ambrose. He knows you're there, and he has the means to get you out. All right, they want him to break her out. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Naya. That's a good plan. I'm not gonna lose you. I think he is. I think she's in real danger here. This is not gonna end well for this girl. All right, we're in Sydney. Yeah, that guy's back. Woohoo! We're building the team. We got a team. Yes, it is. Just bought these eight hundred dollar Gucci shoes. Eight hundred dollars for shoes. What? That's insane to me. Comment below the most expensive pair of shoes you've ever bought. Is that normal? Eight hundred dollar shoes. I suppose he is a thief. Is he gonna be at all suspicious though? Oh well. Computer's up. We got him. I'm so glad he's back in the mix. Oh, zoom in, hands. Zoom in, hands. Let's have it. Is he suspicious? She's very lovely. Here's what's not coming up. Satellite doesn't work as fast as I do. Yeah, I heard about you, Luther. I just want to say it's an honor and a pleasure to be working with you, folks. <laughs> Who is this guy? I'm curious to see how, how cool she could play this. She's a thief, presumably kind of a con artist. Zoom and hands for the kiss. Ethan, here we go. Zoom and hands, zoom and hands, yeah. Just in time for the kiss. Amazing. Yeah, so we got him. We don't know what we've got because we don't know what he's got. Yeah, we need some like info on what he has, what he's doing with it, what's going on, what we need to do then. Now this guy's very suspicious. He's gonna be a problem. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna need to take him out. Every search for a hero must begin with something that every hero requires. We've heard this speech a lot now. Nikovich was a molecular biologist. Why is he going on about an old Greek myth? Must be a clue. I think Nikovich created a monster virus in Chimera, the antivirus to kill it in Bellerophon. He knows everything. Stacks and stacks. 37 million pounds. Well, that's a promising bit for Nikovich's work. Don't look so worried here. We're halfway there. Hugh does not trust this girl, like one bit. We'll need this at the track if we're going to get the other half. He well was then. pissed. Sorted. Not everything. Why do you think she's really young? I mean, he's right on the money. The question is, do you trust her? One considers her timing, of course. Yeah, her timing is very suspicious. Suggestive, even borderline suspicious, but hardly conclusive. He is suspicious of her, he just thinks he's smarter. I do think he's a smart villain. You don't exactly hang on Naya's every word and gesture, do you? <gasps> he's not gonna cut off his finger. Fairly right in there, no, man. he's not. Oh, frig. And I may or may not know why she thinks she's here, but I'm willing to take the risk. I am gagging for it. <gasps> oh, gross! All right, we're at the track. It's never one of the lovely things. Thief in the night. <laughs> love an underdog. You have to grab a drink. Still favor the Bellinis. Ooh, I love Bellinis. Peach. Delicious. That's really fine. In the fourth. Check her out. She's due. Oh, uh, we have a gadget earpiece. That's so risky for her. I could never be a spy, I don't think. I mean, I want to, but... Where are you? Mounting enclosure just off the track. Two o'clock. And there he is, looking handsome. Tell me who you've run into at Ambrose. Hugh Stamp, old friend of Sean. He's the only one I recognize. Yeah, he's gonna be a problem. Ambrose has photos of newspapers with money piled on them. 37 million on the London Times. Bids from possible Chimera buyers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ambrose is meeting some bloke in a the bar. They're into something. Yeah, what is on that little... John McCloy, CEO Biocide Pharmaceuticals. He was Nikovic's boss. Right. Ah. Uh. Ambrose is showing something to McCloy on a digital camera. Whatever McCloy's looking at, he's not happy about it. What is on that little thing? She's gonna need to steal that. Ambrose just pulled the camera's memory card and put it into an envelope. Yeah. We need that memory card. Put it in his inner left jacket pocket. All right, girl, get in there. Left jacket pocket. Where do I meet you? Spending table 12 off the paddock. Be careful, Are you sure girl. You're up to this? 
I'll muddle through. I mean, I think she's good, but I also think this villain is very astute. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Naturally. Wow, well, she is good. <laughs> that was good. She better get that off Hold her. Up. Oh, no, no, no. Does he know? Oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap. <gasps> Girl, you're good. Go, 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 go. Put down a thousand for me. To win? That was slick. She's good. She's got to get that off her person. Luther, digital camera, ready to transmit, betting table 12. Yeah, I want to know. Okay, well, we're going to find out. I thought it would be like a whole deal to get that card, but we already got it. What's on the card? What's on the card? Hugh. Girl, girl, girl. Hughes on your six. Sorry about that, Mike. Good job, though, buddy. Betting table 12. Oh. What'd you do? It's into oh, her pants. <laughs> <laughs> she should be cool, though. Hughes probably watching her. What's on it? What's on it? What's on it? Boot it up. Go, Ethan. Go, go, go. What is it? Like a virus? Uh. Sir Guy Grotsky. 20 hours after exposure. Ooh, I don't want to see him anymore after that. Oh, uh, yuck, yuck, yuck. Ooh, is it like necrosis? Oh, they're just turning black. Ew, like hemorrhaging from everywhere. Ew, ew, ew. Tramps out of the load. Coming out of the tunnel, heading your way, mate. I want you out of Ambrose's place. What are you talking about? What's happened? What did you see? Is she gonna put the card back in his pocket so he's not suspicious? If you don't get out of there, I'm coming in and get it. <gasps> Step on it. Oh, cup. Oh, cup. Oh, cup. Oh, cup. You place your bet, man. Just. Did he see the envelope? Come on. making a move around the outside. Come on. He felt it. Oh, no. He's on to her. Oh, no. Oh, crap. He's going to kill her. Hugh, take care of the Nikovich memory card. Where is it? In the envelope in my jacket pocket. My right jacket pocket. But it was in the left jacket pocket before, right? At Biosite, your life is our life's work. We've got an opportunity here. I'm not going to miss it. Oh man, he's gonna kill her. I'm really worried about this girl now. She's gotta get out of there. I already thought she was gonna die, but whenever I say that, I never know if it's really gonna happen. George, take me home. George! That's not what you want to see. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. It's gonna be gas. Oh, no. Well, you're done for. Sean? She's gonna die. She's gonna die. Girl, just go. Just get out of there. Just go now. You don't need to see him again. Oh, frig, oh, frig, oh, frig. And how does she even get out? Does she need to take a boat back out? <laughs> Is it Ethan? Oh, shoot. Oh, Ethan. Are you okay? I still think she might die. It's alive? What is this? A visit from an old friend. He crashed on a plane. Maybe he is dead. He's seeing this. When my colleague Gratsky had your pulse and your blood pressure, he had less than a day to live. So he's been infected? I mean, he's in that, like, You're quarantine booth. With Chimera, my friend. I needed to know just how bad the disease was in the real world of creating a disease so terrible in Chimera. The cure would be priceless. It's always about money. Get me treated and let's go back to work. Do give my regards to Gratsky. If you see him. Yes, and him. It, he is gonna pull off his face, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard all I need to hear. All right. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, no. It's imperative that we do nothing to alarm Ambrose. Oh, crap. You told me to get out of there as soon as possible. I thought you were here to collect me. I was so relieved. Shh, shh, shh. He's gonna tell her to go back in. Don't worry. It'll all be over very soon. Ah, you bastard. Well, now he's definitely gonna kill her. Bop, 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 bop. Gotta rip on the face. Man, nobody's face is their real face in this. I need more faces. So we're going to buy a sign? Kill Chimera. You were right. Hunt stung McLeod tonight. So he knows. They're gonna go in too? Oi! Yeah, hi, mate. My regular driver. Where is he? He's gone home sick, touch the flu. I feel that. All storage and production of Chimera is done here in this lab on the 42nd floor. Cool. Hunt's target will be the Chimera. They're gonna meet him in there. Not going in from the ground. Show me the edge. Of not. It runs down through the center of the building. Ends in a glass floor, which doubles as part of the lab ceiling. Oh, we'll go down that. Does like those top downs. The atrium roof closes at sundown. And if the louvers are up for more than 40 seconds at night. 40 seconds can be done. Hunt will prefer to enter biocide somewhere from the top. This guy does know. He's very smart. Let's do it. Come on, Lynch. We gotta go. Wait, there's a glitch in the access. Go. There's a glitch! But the things aren't open! Oh, he's just gonna go and hope for the best. Oh, okay. 
Well, that's lucky. He's gonna snap up, isn't he? Uh. Whoa! He did do a top down. Is that a guard right there? Oh my god. You only got 40 seconds. Oh boy. He is good. Okay, well, they have luck on their side. That guy's got a horseshoe. Transponder activated. Reading package and cable clear. That's it. Hard part over, except the bad guy's probably in there as well. You breach the lab at the only possible time, whether you break in from the ground or the roof. And the rotating guards make the building vulnerable to outbreaking from below. They're coming in from below. They're gonna kill everybody on the way in, I think. Reminder, we'll be out of contact for eight minutes. Ooh, cool laser, laser cutty gadget thing. But are the bad guys in there? The hunt will destroy Chimera in the inoculation chamber holding the last remaining the Chimera virus in three injection guns. He won't be allowed to destroy the virus in those guns. Meaning they're gonna go in and stop him? What's this? You're on time for once? Not exactly, sport. <sighs> yeah. Billy, I think we've got a problem. Naya's on the wing up early. They have Naya with them? Or do they just have like a part of her like her ankle? I can't get through to Ethan, not till the generators go five and a half minutes. Oh, this is gonna be a showdown here in the lab. Oh boy. This is kind of making me want to watch like some virus movies like um Outbreak from the 80s or 90s. Let me know if some good like virus -y movies I should watch. Or maybe it's too soon. Alert. Chimera stop light. Come on. Should they have the girl with them? Lighting in this is very intense. So many colors. Just smash them all. How do you, how do you, how do you destroy them? Whoa, I guess that's how. Okay, one left, yes. However we travel, is he rethinking? Hours of He's gonna put it in himself. He's gonna put it in himself. Maybe not. Get it. Bow, 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 bow. How much longer before you can reach him? We got 29 seconds before the generators turn off, and Ethan will be back online. They don't even know what's going on in there. Somebody coming to his van? <gasps> Are they gonna blow him up? Is that his van? No. He's on. He's on. Go, go, go. Oh, he took the computer. Good, good job, bro. Nice slide. Very cool. Hey Scott, get out of here, he can't blow up, he cannot blow up. Although they killed the whole friggin' team last time. Go, 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 go! Did he get out? I hope they didn't kill Luther. I don't want the whole team to die this time. Man, this lab is getting destroyed. Did he get it? I don't think he got it. What the fire, damn it! Just say you're too late, I already destroyed them all. How would you even know in that mess? Well, hunt. Here we go, villain speech. How have you been? Finding a bit of a cold. <laughs> Same. <clears throat> what is it, top bid? You're gonna make me a better offer? 37 million pounds? Not really. Somebody has been slipping you our mail. Come on out of here, you bad girl. No, oh, they did bring her. Now, Ethan, I know you like her, but the mission. Let her go. She wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you, Hunt. That, that is true. Yeah, this, this blood is on their hands if she does. I think he's gonna try and save her. Oh good, he's alive! Okay, yay! Too late, buddy. She's gonna kick it over? He's like, don't you dare, girl. How do you know he won't shoot you the minute he's got it? You know women, mate. Like monkeys they are. Let go of one branch till they get a grip on the next. Uh, she did not like that. The smart thing would be to inject yourself, no? Because then they have to keep her alive. Inject yourself. It's risky. Inject yourself. Inject yourself. Things haven't exactly worked out the way you thought they would, Ethan. Sorry. That's right, you gotta keep her alive now. And we got 20 hours to get that antidote. You're not gonna shoot me, Sean, because she's worth 37 million pounds. Correct. Oh, it's gonna blow it. Oh, how did they get out? Go back up? What do you think you were doing? No time. Just trying to stop you from getting hurt, that's all. No time, guys. You gotta go. How are they gonna get out of there? You can't get us both out of here, can you? Oh, he really wasn't planning on seeing her there. This is not according to plan. I'm infected with Chimera. You know you don't have a choice. Just do it. Is he gonna have to kill her? 
He is supposed to destroy it. No, he can't. You've got 19 hours and 58 minutes. I'll get Bellerophon into your system before then. Oh, nice. Stay alive. I'm not going to lose you. Why is he leaving her? Why is he leaving her? Whoa! Good exit. Good, good exit. I mean, they're gonna keep her alive, but I really didn't expect him to just leave her with them. It's not gonna be pretty. How much time does she have left? Not long, but whatever happens, Naya will take care of Naya. Unless we dose her with Bellerophon, Naya will kill herself. Right. Is this a villain slayer? Where are we going here? Oh, we're scaling the rocks. and his team have arrived over the bridge and Naya's not with him mate where is she and they probably just got her like tied up somewhere so she can't kill herself right hook him on the head take his uniform whoa great flip kick what do you call that move what's the actual name i'm gonna call it flip kick Does he even need to take his uniform? Breach is structured at 10 o'clock grading. It's a DNA match. The blood's loaded with Chimera. Oh, so they took the girl's blood, okay. Well then, you've got both the virus and the antivirus, which means I've got 30 million for you. Thought it was 37 million. We don't want it. Just your cash. What do you want? Stock options to be a little more precise. What stock options? Well, it's a little bit on the back end, huh? Cut it loose. Right in the center of town. Ethan just picked up an Ambrose call. Naya's been dropped off. The more crowded, the better. Like, are they gonna blow her up and infect everybody? I will not let you take control of my company. Sit down. You can't bargain with a villain. Idiots. Are the pigeons gonna give them away? Oh boy. Freaking pigeons. Oh, flip kick! Cool! He has learned that since the last movie. You'll be a billionaire. It's better than being broke. I have terrorists and other pharmaceutical companies standing in line. What if he just threw a bomb in there and exploded them both? Is that literally what he's gonna do right now? <laughs> Boom! Oh! Oh yeah! Oh, emerge from the fire. Emerge from the fire. He knows who it is. Who do you think it is, bud? Your worst nightmare. Oh, it just did the walk past. Very intimidating. We're running short on time, Mr. McCoy. Start the transfer. I mean, he's just gonna kill him after, right? Follow it and let me know. He's got his own tech guy. Our tech guy is better than your tech guy. Oh, all of these jokers are gonna die. Hugh, I think it's time you said goodbye. Come on, tech guy. The pigeons are just in the mix here. Be cool, pigeon. Swing down. Kick him in the head. Yeah! I want to hear the Mission Impossible theme. Dang it. Raise your hands very slowly. I don't think so, Hugh. You sure you want me to do this? Raise your hands. A grenade. Oh. Run. Uh-oh, is that all flammable stuff? Yeah, that's not gonna help tech support. Is he alive? Yeah, more or less. Bring him to me. Go. Go, go, go. Oh, just a cool 30 mil. Sean, transfer completed. Stacks and stacks. Oh, it does have him. Well done, Stump. <laughs> ah. I believe I break his jaw. That's not him, right? Maybe it's not him. Maybe he's got a face on. No, that can't be him. No, 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 no. No, no, that's not him. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Oh! It's not him, it's not him. <laughs> yeah! That's right! Man, nobody's face is ever their face in these movies. I gotta remember that. Take his bike, take his bike! Mm. 
Ja! One's heading for the bridge, coming in at 12 o'clock high. Tell me, is he gonna jump it? Oh, it's possible. Get him. Ja! Ba -da -doo, ba -da -doo, ba -da. Wonder where the girl is. Oh! He's just gonna ride right through it? Ride through the fire! Yeah! Merge from the flames! I like it. Mm, 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 mm. Put a hole in my Versace. Oh no, he did not put it in your Versace. He loves his labels. Ooh. Blow it up! Yeah. Would a car really blow up if you shot the gas tank? Ethan, the computer's up. I'm Finally! Got Nido. She's moved out of the city. She's on the North Head Bluff approaching the cliffs. Approaching the cliffs? That does not sound good. Ooh, she looks pretty rough. Just wandering around on the cliffs. He's doing some fancy driving. Oh, I see. Go off the cliff. Oh boy. Whoa. That worked. Oh, this guy's on a bike too. Oh boy. Showdown at the cliffs. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can you really do that? Whoa. Those are some good shoes. Well, this guy doesn't stand a chance, and he really should never have used Tom Cruise's face. Oh, I was like, he's not looking, but he's looking in the mirror. Cool. She's not gonna, like, throw herself off the cliff, right? What's your plan, Ethan? Well, he's gonna explode it. Maybe he can jump up. Uh oh, he's got a gun. Who has the gun? No one. <laughs> he's gonna need full access to his muscles for this. Man to man. Don't jump. Oh man. Come on! He's getting his butt kicked. Finish him. I mean, this guy's a good fighter. Ooh, we got him. Dude. Enough, Ethan. Let's go. Oh, oh, whoa. Oh, God. Ah! <laughs> Is he going to kill him? I feel like he might just let him go. I don't know. It's not a bad way to go. It's a lot better than the way that bitch is going to die. How dare you? All right, knife. I think she might jump. How much time does she have left? Check your watch. Why, why would he do that? Just wants to beat him to a pulp with his fists. Throw him off the cliff. Throw him off the cliff. Oh, spin kick. I don't remember so many kicks in the first movie. I do love the kicks. Oh, good. Don't jump, girl. You're gonna need to throw him off the cliff now. Smash him. Off the cliff. A oh, spin kick. I am loving all of these kicks. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Spam kick. Oh. Well, that should do it. Hit his head on that rock. Is he dead? Is he dead? Okay, give her the antidote. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Oh! <gasps> you should have killed me. What's he gonna do? He really probably should have killed him. Did Ethan get shot though? He did He did get off one shot before he died. You die now. Maybe she'll be fine. Miss Hall's blood, it appears, has absolutely no elements of the Chimera virus, not even antibodies. Good, because then she won't be needed for more people to get. So what are your plans? I don't know. Uh, they didn't stay together. Some sort of vacation. I'll let you know where I'm going. It wouldn't be a vacation if you did. Yeah, but if you don't, they're gonna let someone else use your face. Maybe they do end up together. She didn't die. Okay. And then she rips off her face and it's the bad guy again. Let's get lost. Ooh, romantic. Ba -da -doo, ba -da -doo, ba -da. 
Okay, guys, well, that was Mission Impossible 2. And, okay, I don't think it was as good as number one, but I still had a fun time watching it. I thought it was pretty good. I didn't really feel that Mission Impossible-y to me. It was more just like a, an action movie, just like kind of a more of a generic action movie, but I did really still have a good time watching it. And you know, they did get me a few times with the disguises, with the faces coming off. I did enjoy that. It didn't, it definitely didn't remind me at all of like the TV series or even the first movie. So I do hope in the subsequent movies now going forward that it feels a little more Mission impossible to me. The first movie felt really Mission impossible to me, but this one felt more just a little bit more like an action movie, like a random action movie with Tom Cruise, which I still like. I always love a good action movie. We did do a little bit of like heisting and we built a team. We rescued the sexy lady. We had masks and disguises. We had some gadgets. There was some good stuff in here. I, I still think it's just, it's a solid like action movie. I'm really excited to keep going and see the rest of the series and I'll have to sort of see where this one lands once I get through all of them. But yeah, I'm really excited to see more Mission Impossibles. I'll definitely be doing all of them, I think. So stay tuned for those. MVP, I'm just gonna give to the fact that multiple times in this movie, I don't even know how many times, maybe like five, six times, people took faces off. I love that. I love that so much. And I, I never really see it coming. I think by the end, I knew by the end that it wasn't Tom Cruise. I, I figured it out. But the first few, they got me. They got me hands down, face came off and I was like, what? So I love that. I love a good face ripping off, disguise coming off. I love it. So that will be my MVP. Loki MVP, I think I will just give it to Tom Cruise. He's very charming in these action movies. I, I like to watch him do whatever he's doing. Jumping around, running, driving stuff, shooting, blowing stuff up. We had some flip kicks. I enjoyed all of his uh, shenanigans in this movie. I am curious, I've heard he does his own stunts, but like, does that mean all of them? Did, was he doing that pre-climbing? Was he driving the motorcycle? Let me know how much of his own stunts he's doing. I am curious. So, no can MVP, we'll go to Tom Cruise. And the worst award, I'm gonna give it to the villain who originally used Tom Cruise's face, but I'm gonna give it to him like out of respect. I thought he was a good villain. He was really smart. All the way along, he kind of kept up with Tom Cruise. He almost had smarted him at certain points. So, I love a good, smart, intelligent villain. I will give this villain the worst. Overall, this one was super fun. You guys know I love a spy, heisty, disguise, breaking into stuff, viruses and antidotes, and you know, we're hacking stuff, and we're in helicopters, and it was all good stuff. I had a really fun time watching this one, so really looking forward to the next ones, and thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I had a great time. I hope you had a great time too, and I will see you next time. Bye guys.